boys and girls. Have you been hearing a lot of talk about germs and staying healthy <clears throat> and washing your hands from the grown-ups? Well, germs are things that can make you sick, and we don't like to be sick, that's for sure. Now, one of the ways to keep those germs away and stay healthy is to wash your hands a lot of times every day and then to try to keep those hands away from your face. Our hands always have so many invisible germs on them. We can't see them, but they're there. And when we see, don't see those germs and then we're touching our nose and our eyes and our mouth, that's a good way to be sick. So let's be careful about that. We're also going to be talking about taking baths because baths and showers are very important. And I hope you always take them as soon as mom and dad ask you to. Baths can be a lot of fun with our bath toys and maybe even some bubbles. I have a little gal in here. She's taking her bath. She's got her little duckies and a boat and her soaps and her creams and her little nail brush. She's all set to take her bath. Now sometimes you might not feel like taking a bath right when you're asked. You might be busy or in the middle of something fun, but it's really, really important to listen when a grown-up is telling you it's time for your bath or shower. There's a little girl in my story. Her name is Patsy Brown, and she usually takes her bath whenever mom or dad tell her, but one day she would not take her bath. Wait till you see what happens. Now my story is going to talk about a vegetable called radishes. I have a whole bunch of them here, but I wanted to show you what a radish looks like in case you haven't had one. This is pulled from the garden. It grows underneath like a carrot does, and then you pull it out wash it and trim it off a little bit and you might see them in salads or I like to just crunch on them it's a healthy little snack so keep that in mind when we're reading our story now when we read our story it's called Mrs. Pickle Wiggles won't take a bath cure oh my goodness I can't wait to see what's going to happen in this story with our little friend Patsy and we'll see why this is called a cure <clears throat> Let's see. My story today is written by Betty McDonald. Let's get started. Mrs. Piggle Wiggle lives here in our town and she has brown sparkly eyes and long brown hair. She always wears it in a knot right on the top of her head. She has a dog called Wag and a cat called Lightfoot and she lives in an upside down house. Hmm. All the children know Mrs. Piggle Wiggle, and Mrs. Piggle Wiggle loves all of the children. She's always ready to stop whatever she's doing to have a little tea party, and she's glad to have children dig worms in her garden and even in her petunia bed. In fact, Mrs. Piggle Wiggle just naturally understands children, which is, of course, why all the parents call Mrs. Piggle Wiggle whenever their children are being difficult. Mrs. Piggle Wiggle always knows exactly what to do to help cure children's bad habits, like not taking a bath, which is Patsy Brown's bad habit. Up to the time of this story, Patsy was just an everyday little girl, but one morning, Patsy's mom filled the bathtub with nice warm water and called to Patsy to come take her bath, but when Patsy saw that nice warm tub of water, she began to scream and yell, kick and howl. She was acting like a wild animal. Naturally, her mom was quite surprised to see her little girl acting so strangely, but she said, Patsy, stop all this nonsense and get into the tub. Oh, Patsy ran from the bathroom yelling, I won't take a bath, I won't ever take a bath, I don't like baths, I won't take a bath. Oh dear, Patsy's mom let the water out of the tub, went downstairs, and you know who she called? Mrs. Piggle Wiggle, she said. Hello, Mrs. Piggle Wiggle. This is Patsy's mother, and I am having such a time this morning. Patsy simply will not take her bath. Hmm. Mrs. Piggle Wiggle said, Well, I would say the radish cure is probably the quickest and most lasting. All you have to do is buy one package of radish seeds, then just leave Patsy alone. Don't talk about washing. And when she has about one half inch of rich black dirt all over her, scatter radish seeds on her arms and on her head. Press them in gently and then just wait. 
Well, the next morning, Patsy's mom didn't say one word to Patsy about a bath, and so Patsy was very sweet, and she didn't act like a wild animal, and the next day was the same, and the next day was the same, and when Sunday came, oh, Patsy was getting quite a bit of dirt on her. She had this dark blackish gray color, and mom said, maybe you better stay home from church today. Then at the end of the third week of no baths and the dirt getting more and more, she skipped out to get the mail and the postman, seeing her straggly, uncombed, dust-caked hair and the layer of dirt on her face and neck and arms, he gave a terrified yell and he fell off the porch. Well, that's when Patsy's parents decided they had to keep Patsy indoors all the time now. But Patsy seemed quite happy. Of course, it was getting hard to tell how she felt because her face was so caked with that hard dirt, she couldn't move her lips very good. And so she would talk without moving her lips and she could only eat little bites of food to fit in there, teeny little bits. Her mouth could only open a crack. At last, the day came. Patsy was ready to plant that night. When she was asleep, her mom and dad tiptoed into her room and very gently, they pressed the radish seeds into all the dirt. Oh my goodness, in her forehead, her arms, and the back of her hands. When she woke up the next morning and she looked at the back of her hands and her arms and her forehead and saw all those green leaves, she jumped out of that bed. She ran down the stairs to the dining room where mom and dad were eating breakfast. Oh, 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 oh. She was squeaking because she couldn't move her lips. Her mom went over to Patsy, took a firm hold of one of those plants on her forehead and gave it a quick little pull. Patsy squeaked again and her mom showed her the little red radish, just like I showed you. That little red radish just sticking out there. Oh my goodness. Well, that day Patsy said, oh, What did you say, dear? Bath. She said it so plainly that all the mud on her face cracked. And Mom said, I think it would be better to take a shower. And without another word, Patsy went right upstairs and turned on the warm water. Patsy was in the shower all day long. She used up two whole bars of soap and she didn't even come out for lunch. But when her daddy came home for dinner, there she was, waiting at the door, clean and smiling, and in her hands she had a whole plate of little red radishes. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, I hope when it's time for you to take your bath, you don't give mom and dad a hard time. Just no fuss or bother, just dive right in, because you don't want to see those radishes growing all over your arms and, and hands. And remember, keep washing those hands, keep taking those baths and showers, and keep those germs away so you can stay nice and healthy. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye now.